Welcome to MFCP Woodworking, My Family Country Products. Today we're going to be making what's called a hair stick out of a stick. Hair stick is, you, is a hair style accessory. This stick is just something out of the bush. Initially nine inches long. Our goal is to come up with a hair stick that's about seven inches long. Okay, it's a simple project. Anybody can do it. Well, anybody can do it. Anybody who, uh, who has a desire to do it. I turn these into uh, hair sticks quite easily with an appropriate whittling knife. I happen to be using a box cutter. There's probably far better choices out there, but this was a buck fifty at the dollar store. Tape measure. I already had one of those. You want to be able to keep track of your length because it's easy to get wrong. These are cut at nine inches. I decline to uh, go into the bush and show you me cutting them. That's a simple process. We go out with a pair of loppers and we we take bundles of ten. This is eight now. Already lot already used some of them. When whittling, always cut away from your body. Um, that's pretty straightforward. It's a pretty simple process. Basically, you're going to see me take one of these sticks, peel the bark off, trim it to size. Then I'm going to go over to my sander in the covered part of my wood shop here. We're going to make the final shape. We'll do a little uh, a little finished carving on it for fun because I like to make them a little unique, a little artistic. I don't feel like they're finished in if we don't. And that's really all there is to it. Alder sticks, I harvest them out of the bush. We're gonna turn these into hair sticks. First thing we need to do is remove the bark. All I'm using is a box cutter knife. Very simple how-to instructional video. This is not a difficult project. Once all the bark's off, we shape it. Pick some better ones for this. Just doing a simple whittling job here. If you can make a marshmallow stick, <laughs> you can probably do this. One done. No bark. Next step is to shape it. Okay, I'm going to do the other one next. Does not take long. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to cut it to length. I'm hoping not to lose too much of this and to shape it, give it its shape before I go to the sander. Okay, this, not all my spotted alder has this kind of markings on it. This, these ones could be quite pretty. I just am afraid I'm going to lose a lot of it. Now this is actually going very quickly. This is quite sharp. Hopefully not too short already. Yeah, I'm already down to my length. Seven inches is good. These are going very quickly. I was working with uh, the uh, cherry this morning, the choke cherry, and that is really hard by comparison. My new knife really slices through this quickly, starting with a sharp blade. I just want to make sure that this is close to the right length. Maybe a little bit shorter yet. And we're down close to seven inches. You can see that went quite quickly. Okay, our next step is to go into the sanding. What we're going to do now is we're going to do the final shaping of these. We're going to add a little detailing afterwards. I like the color of this one. That one's going to, that's going to be a nice one when this is done. I'm working very quickly. This morning I made a pair out of hardwood and I find this goes a lot faster. I put this one down before it goes flying, before I turn something flying in.
trying to keep from sanding all of this marking off here because it's a little raised. All I'm doing is working this round. It'll get a final sand later once I've got it right to the shape I want it to be. I'm trying to make the end nice and round. You see that? Around. Be better with the final sand. That's one ready. They stay about the same length. I'm not worried about them being perfect. These are kind of rustic looking. This is actually the part that takes the longest, is adding some detailing to the project. I spent a lot of time doing making some really ugly carvings, and I wasn't happy with the results, so I'm trying to keep them simple. Flake it out of there. In theory, I'm trying to make kind of a cone in here on it. Not something I've done before, but I like to make these all different. I don't know why. I think it's the artist in me. The trick isn't making one of these. The trick is making the next one that looks just about like it so they're a set. Smooth out some of the corners here so I don't have to sand as much. And that's kind of what I had in mind. Trick is to make another one that looks like it. <laughs> to see how well they match. And for me, that's actually pretty darn good, pretty close. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll just finish this up, take the lid off, put a finish on it. This is pretty straightforward. Let it drip off a little bit. This is linseed oil. Get on there.
You should be in this can. This uh, container is pretty full. We have to take it out and use a brush otherwise. But right now, because it's full, I can just kind of dip them in the thing. Careful not to leave go of them. Put them down here. As that soaks in a little bit. Take this. You want to double up your paper towel when you do this. It'll soak through and go into your pants, which is probably not what you want. But I liked how these ones turned out. I really do. I like these. I'm probably going to blank the sound on and just redo these. Oh, but there you have it. Set of hair sticks. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you uh, make this particular project, and I hope you do, I think it's an easy project to make. Uh, that's encouraging for us. If you like the product but don't want to make it yourself, you'd like someone like myself to make it, I do sell them on our website for $5 Canadian plus shipping and handling. Um, if you want, you can check that out. The link will be in the, uh, in the, in the section below here in the description. Uh, also, uh, there's a how-to article which will be placed on hub pages for you to read that will accompany, uh, accompany this. If you like this video, please give us a like. Uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe. We will be bringing you more. This is actually our first video. I'm still a little uncomfortable in front of the camera, but we'll improve. We'll get better. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time. Thank you.